Hi everyone, I'm Violet's Closet on Kittizen. I am going to be going over photography basics today. The first thing I want to go over is why photography is important for selling. It's important because it attracts buyers to your listings. So as buyers are going through the listing feed, they're going to see your photo slash item first because yours stands out because of your good photography. And when they tap on that listing, they'll probably also want to check out the rest of your shop. And so then it'll take them to view all the rest of your items too. Another reason why it's important is because then the buyer knows exactly what they're getting and it prevents any sort of issues later on. So I, I want to break it out by parts. The first part is background. So how do you choose what background? I prefer a white background myself. I've used wood backgrounds. I, I love the way the white makes items pop and it really stands out. So that's why I personally choose a white background. Um, you can get any sort of white foam board from Target or Walgreens um, in like the arts and crafts section or, you know, where the packaging tape is. Um, and they, they do tend to be smaller at these places, which is fine for smaller items. My kids are huge now, I feel like, so I've definitely had to graduate to the big board but I love the big board. I totally would have gotten it sooner instead of trying to fit everything on the smaller whiteboard. Um, so I would highly recommend that. The whiteboard you can, a big huge one you can get at Office Max. So mine is ginormous, which you should keep in mind when you're picking it up because it barely fit in my car. <laughs> um, so you want to choose uh, like a simple background. You could also do wood background like I mentioned. So you could do like a dining room table or something like that. I wouldn't use like your regular carpeting because all of the texture in it tends to distract from the item and it also can cause a lot of bumps. Um, and then I know that people use like that. They'll, they'll just buy a board and then they'll use like contact paper or sticky wallpaper and they'll stick it to that. Or like Hobby Lobby has actually backdrop rolls you can use. Um, backdrop rolls are nice because you can roll them up and just put them anywhere. So those sorts of backgrounds, you can just kind of see what you have around your house or you can just pick up a whiteboard from your local Target or wherever. All right, so next is lighting. You really want to make sure you have good light when taking photos. So as far as lighting goes, you would want to just put your board or whatever you have next to a window. And you want it to be bright light, but you don't want it to be direct light because when it's direct, like at sunrise and sunset, morning and night ten, tends to leave like that sun mark on your board. So you don't want that. Um, I, I tend to say like nap time, like the afternoon time is a great time to take photos. I myself um, am not, I mean, now I'm home during the day, but I wasn't home during the day. <laughs> And so uh, I would just take photos at night. I still take photos at night. I think it's just like, it's, it's such a great time because then I just put the kids to bed. I get out my board and my lights and I just take pictures at night. If you do want lights, I like the softbox lights the best. I think that they, they, have, they aren't as harsh and they cause less of the shadowing on everything. There are some options like umbrella lights and ring lights, which you can certainly experiment with. Um, I know ring lights can be a little less expensive. They can sometimes leave like reflections though on your picture. So just keep that in mind when you're checking out the different options. All right, next item presentation. So I tend to recommend flat laying your items. I think they look good that way. I have seen a lot of sellers though that do really well with the hanging photos. And so if you do choose to hang your photos or your items, I would definitely recommend um, using like a nice hanger and hanging them against like a white wall or, or a plain basic wall, not like on a window or a door, that type of thing. Also make sure that you're like buttoning buttons and snapping snaps and zipping things. So your item looks really good instead of just, you know, laid out there. 
I know bigger items and women's items can tend to be a little trickier um, because they are so big. And as I mentioned before, that big, huge whiteboard does help with that. Um, some women's items though, they just look better hanging because as you're trying to make it look like it does when it drapes on a person, that can be kind of tricky when it's flat. So um, I know a lot of people tend to hang women's items or um, I'll like, if it's like a long dress or something like that, you could lay it down and then fold it back so that you can see it's a dress. So it's kind of like a V shape, but I would definitely play around with what you think looks best for like bigger items like that. All right, next, editing. So I'm gonna go over my editing process. My app, two apps I use all the time are called PicTap Go and Photo Room. So PicTap Go I use to lighten up and brighten up my photos and I will do that and then I will run all my cover photos through photo room which basically erases my background um, and makes them a really crisp bright white and then it also I can put it into a square that way and so I will show you my process for that basically because I'm using lights I only edit my cover photo and the only editing I do to the rest of the photos are basically like cropping to crop out anything or if something like has a yellow tint or something like that I'll adjust the color but otherwise, that's the nice part of having nice lighting is I don't have to uh, touch up anything. So we will go over that process. I also wanted to talk about my process for listing. So I'll take my pictures at night for like an hour, hour and a half, which you can get through a lot of items in that lawn. And then I will just leave them on my phone, go to bed. And then throughout the week, as I get little bits of time, I'll start editing my photos. So... When I wake up the next morning, I'm drinking coffee before the kids get up, I'll start editing. So I'll start cropping and doing the editing that I'm going to show you. And then um, I, I won't do all the pictures because that would take too long. I just, you know, I'll get through as many as I can. And then when the kids are up, we, you know, it's go time. So then um, I'll do that the next day or something. And then after they're all finished being edited, that's why I start listing and I do that exact same process. I just get through what I can for the listing and then when the kids get up, I just do it the next day. So that is my process that I do. The nice thing is I take pictures of every single thing. So I'm taking pictures of the size tag. I'm taking pictures of any washware, any flaws, which you wanna do anyway. Um, but also having those pictures, I can list the item without actually having it in front of me. So I will put all the items away and then um, and then I'll start listing just by looking at the photos. I know exactly what I need to be including in my listing. All right, so let me show you my editing process. Okay, so here it goes. You wanna open your photo album. And so the first thing I do is just fix my photos. A lot of the time they're like, on the side like this because of my phone flipping constantly. So I just want to make sure that all my items are flipped back. And then I'll start doing the pick tap go on all of my cover photos. So the first photo, I tap on the three dots and I choose pick tap go. And then I choose the lights on filter, which is the first option and then done. So I use photo room, so I don't crop mine in a square because photo room will do that for me but you can, you should crop it in a square here. So you can just do edit and then the box at the bottom will bring up the three boxes at the top and then square at the bottom and then you adjust it as needed and then done. So then I'll just take a quick look through my other photos, make sure they look good and they look great. I'm not worried about these. For black, sometimes I don't do the lights on filter because I feel like it then lightens it too much. And I think it's fine without the lights on filter because because again, I'm gonna be putting this through photo room which will brighten it. And so yeah, it's just a little more charcoal than they are in real life. So I'm gonna leave it. And so this picture, you can see how much background I have here. Photo room is gonna take that all out for me. I wouldn't be able to crop this in a square without photo room, but I knew when I was took taking the picture that I was I would put it through photo room. Before I had photo room though, I could not take this type of picture. I would have to make sure my stuff was more clear. 
So I will edit this, tap go. One thing is sometimes pick tap go doesn't show up when you tap the three dots and you just need to get it added by just scrolling over and then tapping on the more. So you'll see that they'll have these suggested options and it's pick tap go should be in there. So you can just find the pick tap go and get it added and then it'll show up in this bar. All right, so the rest of my pictures, I don't need that one. Okay, so for this photo, it does look a bit blue. You could leave it like this as you're in your listing. I myself choose to edit it just to make it look a little better. So ones I use, I use, tend to use in my app are like exposure to brighten it up a little bit. I'll use shadows sometimes if it's just looking a bit wrinkled. And then um, warmth and tint. Tint tends to be a little harsh, so I tend not to use that as much, but warmth can definitely help. So this is a cool, so I'll warm it up, and then that looks better to me. And then so I'll just keep looking through. Those look fine. All right, and then to the shoes. Okay. All right, so now let's put them through Photo Room. All right, so first I'm going to show you the magic of Photo Room. So I'm going to find my photos and then this one. So you can see it does a really good job at erasing backgrounds and then I choose the square. And I actually like how this looks. You can adjust it to make it smaller or bigger. I tend to like just have a little around the edge, top and bottom, and then and that's the way I like it. So you can kind of play with what you think looks best and then you just would save it. So Photo Room does have a free version and they have a pro version which you pay for. I personally pay for the pro version because I use it so much and I love it. It does come with extra features obviously. So one of those extra features is if you tap on this more, you can apply to multiple images. And then I'll just like get all my cover photos done in one swoop. And it makes it just like that much faster if you are listing constantly. All right, save. The free version, you would basically have just have to do it one at a time. And then there is a watermark, I believe, on the free version too. All right, so now we have all our cover photos. We have all our listings edited. And now we're ready to list. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. I want to do some more videos. So let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.